Ave Maria. This is Father Jacinto Mary for Air Maria. And today we have Monica Siefker with us. You know, we are uh, wanting to get her motivations for what had uh, taken place yesterday. You know, we had um, you know, prayed in front of the abortion mill in Bloomington, Indiana. And there was a special consecration prayer you know, of the abortionist and the staff and those that would actually you know, be there and uh, actually involved in promoting abortion. And we just want to ask Monica what had inspired her to do that. Monica, could you give us a brief explanation of that? It's a unique kind of prayer, you know, something that I myself haven't really heard much about, uh, but just uh, only recently. What mm -hmm. can you do explain sure, that? Sure, yes, and I can take no credit for it because okay. it all comes from American Life League. Okay. And what happened was I had received a message probably oh, uh, several weeks ago from, uh, her name is uh, Miss Dillon from the, she used to work for the Archdiocese or the Diocese of Amarillo, Texas with Bishop Yonta. And Rita Dillon is her name. And um, she had worked with him in really Marianizing the work and the fight against Planned Parenthood specifically. And they came up with this consecration prayer and this kind of whole idea. And it really was to promote um, and con really consecrate our efforts um, to the Blessed Mother in the fight against Planned Parenthood and all what it stands for and all really all like-minded institutions as well because they are uh, gravely aware of as we all are that this fight can only be won through our Blessed Mother. In fact she's just the, the she crushes all heresies and demons so we, it's, it has to be taken to her and it is through her that we're going to win this battle so that's really the impetus of this. The need especially with the passage of the health care bill where now literally millions of dollars are going to be funneled to Planned Parenthood we have to turn to her, and they, this organization realizes that, and I think we all do, and so they were really just encouraging all of the uh, Planned Parenthoods throughout the country to uh, make this consecration, to consecrate our efforts, and we kind of here in Bloomington went a little one step further as I talked and discussed with Father Elias, and we consecrated not only our efforts, but the Planned Parenthood itself, the abortionists there, the workers, all those souls who will come and go there this entire year. And we will do that every year and renew that okay. consecration. It was a wonderful thing to uh, participate in yesterday, the first time I've experienced it. So, you know, we have always been praying, you know, let's say the rosary in our prayers. You know, we would always invoke Our Lady. Our Lady of Guadalupe, and we would all respond, you know, protect the unborn, you know, between every decade of the rosary and other prayers you know, to our Blessed Mother. And this, you know, consecration prayer, you know, takes it much further, you know, and it, it really uh, perfects it, you know, let us hope, you know, and, uh, and just places a greater emphasis on the need to uh, rely upon our Blessed Mother, you know. So to uh, Marianize it, as you said, you know, more and more. How uh, successful has this been, like, with the uh, those involved, uh, I guess, ALL and uh, just different pro-life groups? Have you had a sense of if it's being welcomed or, like, really uh, right. excited? Right, and, and yes, and I think so. I think it's a really great idea, and as I said, they're trying to promote it all over the country. In fact, I just got an email from the Evansville Diocese where the, there is a rumor that they might potentially put a mega Planned Parenthood down there. It's in one of their, uh, the sites that Planned Parenthood is eyeing. So they're going to be doing a huge procession. I think it's this coming Saturday there. They're having something in Washington, D.C. through. So there, it is happening, definitely. This really, this movement to Marianize our efforts. And specifically, though, where um, this has really worked is in that the Diocese of Amarillo, Texas, where um, Bishop Yonta was, because he credits his close, there were 18 Planned Parenthood there, and in 12 years it took to close them basically all down. I think they, they said there were a couple that were kind of sold off, that Planned Parenthood sold off, and they even think they may have eventually gone out of business as well. But basically, that's quite a few, 18, you know, sure, shut sure. down in 12 years. So it took a while. It wasn't, you know, an overnight thing. It's that perseverance mm -hmm. is the key, right. the spirit, whole everything. Right, right. So they were um, all, that's, that's a successful 
story right there. Sure. And he credits again, bringing Our Lady to Planned Parenthood is how they said it, bringing um, Jesus through Mary to the Planned Parenthood. And he credits our Blessed Mother with that great grace for their diocese. And we hope that happens here as well. All right. Well, thank you, Monica. And we pray that all of our bishops will follow his example. And um, again, we, um, we thank you and continue the good work okay. for Our Lady and for the unborn and for so many who are you know, suffering you know, from the great plague you know, of abortion. So with Our Lady, there will be victory. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. O most holy mother of God, who bore in your womb the very one who the heavens cannot contain, to you we consecrate this day all of those employed or volunteering here at this Bloomington Planned Parenthood, the abortionist, and all the moms, dads, and unborn children who will come and go from here this entire year. We also consecrate to you, mother of our Redeemer, all of our efforts to stop this Planned Parenthood's evil attacks upon humanity. Since God ordained to bring His Son, Jesus, into the world through you, so we humbly ask that through you, we will bring Jesus to the very doors of this Planned Parenthood and into the hearts of all who work or enter here. With full confidence in you, we consecrate all our efforts through you to your Divine Son. Through your Immaculate Heart, we ask that you bring love and peace to this community. Banish, we beg you, the Planned Parenthood and its progeny from the face of the earth. Crush, once and for all, the head of the serpent that schemes and strikes every day, taking the lives and souls of our children. Holy Spirit, Spouse of Mary, breathe forth a new and profound spirit of wisdom and respect for every human being's life upon those individuals who are employed by or volunteer their time or provide financial support for Planned Parenthood's efforts. Grant a softening of the cold, steely hearts that deny dignity and legal protection to all people and grant that from the first moment of biological development, the personhood of every human being be proclaimed and protected by law, respected by all, and honored as a unique and sacred gift from God. Blessed Mary, who has been granted power by God to assist those on earth, by that power, May Planned Parenthood, its progeny, and all like-minded entities that exist to destroy the human person be permanently driven out of our community, our country, and our world. May those who commit and promote these heinous crimes against humanity open themselves to a profound conversion of heart. Amen. Amen. Oh, on this day, oh, beautiful light.